Yeah, that's Joe. Yeah, it's an automatic 350. Got a good engine. Has a good runner too, except for I uh, can't get it to fire over. Now I just ain't got time to be messing with it anymore. Yeah, I consider trade. Consider other cars, especially 4x4. Four four. Oh, guns, of course. Motorcycles, dirt bikes, PlayStation. <laughs> oh, no, sir, I can't take you to Doberman. Unless I can ride it into work. I'll tell you, why don't you, uh, why don't you come on over? Uh, we're going to be here all day. Okay, where, where are you coming from? Yeah, I got the title. It's in the last guy's name, though. But uh, we, can, uh, we can work that out. You shouldn't do that, you know. Huh. 78% of adult smokers die of cancer before they're 46, too. Plus, it's a gateway drug. You gotta be kidding me. Did your mom tell you that? Oh, I heard it on NPR. Billy's got you listening to that tree hugger station, huh? Can I set up a lemonade stand? You know, make some moolah. No, baby. Why? Well, I got no lemonade inside. I got a little lemons. Besides, you know, I gotta sell that car and I don't want folks getting the wrong idea. I don't get it. See, that car is a lemon on its own. And I don't need your advertising that fact. Well, can we go to the park then? Yeah, baby, we got people coming in to take a look at the Plymouth. Daddy, I'm bored. That's because you're boring. <laughs> Why don't you build something with those blocks? Now they're yours. You brought them over from the other place. Uh, no offense, Dad, but those blocks are from like a million years ago. Back when I still wore training pants. They're baby toys, you know. Yeah, that's the joke. Is this a car for sale? Hey kid, is there anybody here that can uh, tell me about this car? What do you want to know? I know the title can be changed, but it's in some other guy's name. Not my dad's, but my dad can take care of it. Pizza cake. Okay. Oh, and another thing, mister? My dad says he doesn't want me to open a lemonade stand today because he thinks people might get the wrong idea. You know, lemons, lemonade. Mm-hmm. Well, I get it. Thanks. Hello, sir. I can answer any questions you have on the... Yep, I'm good. Got all my questions answered. What the hell are you doing? Firelog post, Daddy. That's not what I meant. I'm mean, gonna get those damn jumper cables out of your hair and get off that flag. It ain't patriotic. Here, try this pose. It's called the Half Lord of the Fishes pose. What are you learning this shit? Billy? Is he making you take his classes? Tree hugging, hippie, faggot ass. You shouldn't use that language. You're never gonna sell a car with such a bad attitude. Kevin said faggot once, and Billy said it was just the definition of a bundle of sticks. Are you calling Billy a bundle of sticks? And by the way, Daddy, he doesn't make me go. I like the classes. You know, if you actually gave him a chance, you might actually like the guy. Mom does. 
Yeah, I know. I know. Mom talks about you, you know. She says all kinds of things. She says you should get a girlfriend and some perspective. She says there's such a thing as happy divorces where like you and your girlfriend, well, if you had one, and her and Billy and his son Kevin and me would all hang out and it could be friendly and there wouldn't be so much animosity, you know? Animosity. Yeah. It's animosity. Animosity. It's a pretty big word for such a little girl. What do you think about the whole happy divorce idea? Bullshit. I think it's bullshit. Now you get off that flag. I mean it. Hey, Daddy. Yeah? Why'd you leave, Mom? <sighs> well, it's kind of complicated. You know, well, we just kind of grew apart. Hmm. Do you remember your mother before she went to that school? Not really. Well, she wasn't happy. I mean, she was happy because she had you, but, you know, she didn't do anything. You know, sometimes I'd come back from my lunch break and she'd still be in her pajamas, sitting watching TV and eating. Mm, I don't know about that. No, I know. No, it wasn't the person I married. One day she just got sick and tired of being sick and tired and you know, she wanted to go to school and I was so afraid I just didn't, you know, I just didn't support her. Well, that was dumb. Just because she went to school. <sighs> I guess I got scared. And when I get scared, I. You know, kind of got mean, too. And one day I just knew she didn't love me anymore. So I left. When I came back, it was... Billy. She met Billy. Well, that sucks. I think you guys should be friends now. Well, I believe you do. Well, anyway, Daddy, you tried. I mean, 78% of marriages end in divorce. So don't feel bad. I think your statistics are a little bit shaky. <laughs> Mom and Billy are vegetarians? No, vegan. It's different. They don't eat dairy like milk or cheese. They just mostly eat pickles and sprouts. I am too. Oh yeah? Hmm? Huh. Well, I guess you wouldn't be interested in that hot chocolate I got back in there, would you, since it's made of milk and all? Well, maybe just this once. Just this once? Yes. Grab yourself one. Hey, could you grab me one too? Wanna hike to the M? Billy and Mom and I go every Sunday. I can't, baby. I gotta, I gotta sell this car. Do you know the M doesn't stand for Missoula? It stands for marriage. Those smarty pants. <laughs> it stands for Marvelous Magnificent Mia. Maybe. Mickey Mouse. Monkey. 
Monster. Motor. Mass. Mortgage. Money. Millionaire. Magpie. Mackerel. As in holy. Come on, try this pose. It's called the hero pose. Try it. Well, the neighbors don't see me. 